all yours. Oh, listen, I can't. Sorry. Business. Liar. Listen, I could use your wheels, though. Why? What on earth for? I need to be mobile. We'll, um, catch up with this later. All right. Just make sure. Later means soon. Hmm. Sandy will be very pleased with you, I'm sure. Fingers crossed, sister. Morning, sister. Good morning, Mr. Sandy. Who's first? Prince Sal is here. Ah, yes, good. You had a busy morning. Would you like some tea? After two appendectomies and a gallbladder. Why not? Right. <laughs> done extraordinarily well, you know. You mean you have? Not at all. You've made a remarkable recovery. Splendid. I don't think there's any need for you to come and see me again. You saved my life. I suppose you still refuse to take a fee. Yes, so please don't mention it again. But for you, I'd be dead, Mr. Sandy. I only did what any surgeon would have done. You were very badly smashed up. We just patched you together, that's all. <laughs> You make it sound routine. So no fee? I've never taken one yet. I work for the National Health Service, which pays me a very fair wage, so thank you. No. I told the Emir, my father, you were a saint. Nonsense. A make do and mend man, eh, sister? when my father saw the accident report, mm. massive internal injuries and all that, he wept. Yes, I'm, I'm sure he's very fond of you. Yes, yes he is. I warned him he'd refuse a fee, so he said in that case, why not a small gift? Well, provided it is small. Oh, it is. He says in his eyes, my life is without price and nothing on earth can repay you adequately for saving it. This is simply a present for your next birthday, as it were. Look at it, please, Mrs. Sandy. Good gracious me. Is that what I think it is? Of course, a diamond. Not especially large, but the color's good. Pure. But I couldn't accept a present like that. Not, not, not a diamond. You must be quite valuable. I, I've occasionally accepted the odd bottle of decent wine. I must tell you something, Mrs. Sandy. Nobody refuses a gift from the Emir. It would be a terrible insult. It has never been done. Oh, dear. Well, if you are making it rather awkward for me, aren't you? Not at all. Just take it. Please. Not just for my father, but for me, too. Oh, I see. Princes are almost as sensitive as Emirs. Sometimes more so. Oh, dear. I do feel very embarrassed, you know. All right. It is beautiful, isn't it? Do thank the Emir for me and, and tell him I'll treasure it always. My father won't be in the least offended if you sell it. Oh, I, I don't think I'll sell it. It's too beautiful. Good of you to wait, James. A pleasure. Did he accept the sparkler? Had to persuade him. Never met anyone so unworldly. <laughs> wasted on him, isn't it? I shouldn't say so. His wife would like it. <laughs> it could be. 
Coming back to college? No. I said I'd um, wait here for Jane. Ciao! So you are a surgeon at the Cambridge District Hospital. It's a very fine hospital. I have reason to be grateful to the Cambridge chest. <laughs> now, what can we do for you, sir? Well, I've, uh, I've been given this diamond as a present. I, I'd like to know just roughly its value. Why do you do that? Is it all right? I'm looking at the colour. We always do that first against a fold of white paper, and preferably against a northern light. Oh, I see. I didn't think it had much colour. Oh, but it has, Mr. Sandy. It's a wonderful colour. In fact, this is the finest D colour that I've ever seen. D in the trade means the very best quality white. In some places, it's called a river, mainly in Scandinavia. Now, a layman would call this a blue-white. It doesn't look very blue to me. Oh, but it is. The purest white always contains a trace of blue. Now, think of the blue bags back in the old days in your mother's washing boiler. They made the clothes whiter. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. This is a loop, a jeweler's magnifier, a ten times loop. And with this, any imperfections will be revealed. Mm. Oh, it's, it's flawed, is it? Yes, well, rather a relief. Mr. Sandy. This stone is flawless. Oh. Its quality is superb. The cutting's very fine indeed. Not modern, though. Definitely not modern. There are too many facets. But I should say that this stone has been in your friend's family for several generations. It's superb. Uh, approximately how many facets would there be on it? Fifty-eight. You know exactly? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, what do you imagine it might be worth? Oh, I never imagine in this business, Mr. Sandy. No, 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 of course not. But in round terms. Oh, well, in round terms, hey. Stone this size, D color. Oh, in the trade, say, um, 20,000 pounds a carat. In the shops, double that, 40,000 pounds. Shall we see what she weighs in at? Yes. Yes, I thought so. 15.23 carats. 15.23. That means... That means 
Mr. Sandy. 300,000 pounds in the trade. Double that, the shop, 600,000 pounds. And if you were an American, you would say that you were looking at a million dollars. forgotten we're going to the Renshaws. No, I hadn't forgotten. Or, or maybe perhaps I had. I thought I'd take Margaret some jam. Good. Yes, very good. You, you Robert, take it. what's happened? There's something the matter. Well, something rather strange. I, th I, I think you'll like it. You've been made head of surgery? Mm. No, it's, it's stranger than that. A bit early for drinks. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen you quite like this before. You're all red in the face. You're sure it's good news? Well, I, I, I think it is. I'd, uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. Well, come on, tell me what it is. What's that? Oh, Robert, it, it is beautiful. It is, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. What do you think it's worth? Oh, a lot. Mm. I mean, it's bound to be. Look at it. Well, come on. Take a guess. How much? Oh, I really have no idea. Well, quite a few hundred. Try again. You mean it's more? It's quite a bit more. Quite a few thousand. <laughs> would you be pleased if it were worth quite a few thousand? Well, look, of course I would. Is, is it really worth quite a few thousand? Another sip of sherry. Robert, tell me. It is worth, very probably, 500,000 pounds. You're joking. You're not joking. Half a million pounds. Half a million pounds? I don't believe it. You realise what this could mean, of course. We can get Diana and Ian out of that horrible flat. We, we can help John with his medical And problems. you can have a really good holiday at last. Oh, darling. Oh, oh, aren't you clever? Oh, after all these years. Oh, you really do deserve it. <sighs> Have you decided where you're going to hide it? Well, yes, somewhere in the house. Well, yes, but where? Well, somewhere where no one would think of looking if there were a break. The teapot. The teapot? No, they always look there. The same goes for the sugar or anything like that. They shake out everything. Do they? What about under the azalea? No, it's not 100%. You see, that it might get knocked over. I know where. Where no one would ever, ever think of looking. In here, of course. Well, freeze it. In an ice cube. Invisible. What a clever girl. <laughs> now, that from the front, mm -hmm. right hand side, right hand tray, okay? Brilliant. You're a genius. And a double locket. Oh, absolutely. You uh, leave the light on upstairs? Yes, it is. Palace of Festos. In Turkey? And China to see the Terracotta Army. All right. China, too. Mm. We could drop in on the Amir while I'm on the way. <laughs> All right. 
Absolutely nothing. I found the drink. My God. <laughs> Cheers. What? You said the check everywhere. Yes, I know I did, but not this. Gin, vodka, or whiskey? Vodka, yes. Did you look under the mattress? Yes, of course I did, under every bloody mattress. They must have taken it with them. You're hopeless. I'll go. That stone could have set me up. Bast. You paid off everything. The bank, that bloody bookie. Rather well, darling. <laughs> Almost as well as you slept. Yeah, well, it was a good claret, wasn't it? <laughs> Mind you, 75 was a very good year. Not as good as this year's going to be. Yeah. Hold the door. Yeah. Oh, we left the radio on. about this half million pound diamond. You say it was in the fridge? We put it in the ice tray. We, we'd only just been given it, you see. I see. Well, it only had it valued this, this afternoon. Um, do you think someone could have known about it? Maybe, maybe not. Drink all your booze, did they? Well, uh, pr pr pretty much all of it, yes. Typical. Lads like these, only two things in their heads. Drink and destruction. You mean they didn't come here to steal? Doubt it. Well, surely they did. Now, if they were thieves, they'd at least have nicked your TV sets, right? No. Yobbos. Animals. Rubbish. Now, let's begin at the beginning, sir. This diamond. It was insured, of course. Dr. Haddock. Ah, uh, Sister Wiley. Did you hear about Mr. Sandy's breaking? No, really? Mm. I hope they've pinched that frightful old bicycle of his. Nice bit of gun, I'll show you, sister. Mm. Ten to one, it's a piece of chicken bone. They play hell with a mucosa. Don't be so filthy, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I've had quite enough of this one day. Will you finish it off for me, please? Right, I'll sew it up. I've got a meeting. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Mine's a pint. <laughs> I suppose. 
And how does a girl get to swallow something like that? It's really sharp. Doesn't it sparkle? Perhaps it isn't just glass. Perhaps it fell out of her tiara. Oh, we'll soon find out. Good Lord. Does that make it a diamond? If it is, it's a very big diamond. Wow. Hey, sister. Wow. If it is a diamond, it belongs to the patient, doesn't it? Well, she was jolly glad to get rid of it. Finders keepers? Who is she, anyway? Uh, Jane Cheney's aged 18. St. Matthew's College. Large obstruction, upper small intestine. Patient has no recollection of swallowing anything unusual on Saturday night. Blood test revealed excessive alcohol. She must have been drunk to swallowed it. <laughs> and she knows nothing about it. Stop it. Must be worth a small fortune. Hmm? I suppose it must. So we'd better send it to the lab. The lab, Sister Wyman. We're going to have a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Mm. Do it ourselves. Yes, well, this looks like a very fine diamond. Very fine indeed. Uh, would you mind if I just take it into the back room and examine it more closely? Of course, Mr. Gold. And weigh it. Mr. Sandy, have you by any chance lost that diamond? Yes, I have. Yes, it's been stolen. Well, two people have just brought it into the shop. You send for the police, and I'll keep them talking. Right. Thanks, Mr. Goat. <laughs> You found it where? I said in someone's stomach. In someone's stomach. I see. It's true, Inspector. This girl had swallowed it. This is all your fault. I told you oh, come it was on, criminal. I said it was only a joke. You. you meant it. You said find us keepers. I remember perfectly. Now look, you two. I think you should give me some. Ah, Mr. Sandy. Oh, Inspector. I think we've got your property, sir. William. Sister, what on earth are you doing here? Your property? I'm afraid so. They were trying to sell it to Mr. Gold. Uh, Mr. Sandy, I had no idea. You see, Mr. Goff and I operated on a young woman. We found the diamond in her intestine. When was this? This morning. What was her blood alcohol level? It was very high. High. Inspector, I think you'd better question the patient. <laughs> The girl broke into the house, got drunk... Put ice in the drink. ...and swallowed the diamond by mistake. But where is the diamond now? Where's the what diamond? Oh, the diamond. Oh, well, uh, let's just say, drink your vodka on the rocks carefully, darling. <laughs> <laughs>